Remember when every new iOS or Android update felt revolutionary? Features like GPS, augmented reality and Siri weren't just upgrades, they redefined how we lived. Well, guess what? Those times are back. Apple Intelligence and Google AI are leading a new wave of innovation. By 2025, every app you know will be rebuilt for a world that's AI and voice first. The impact? Nothing short of transformative. But with great innovation comes great challenges. Voice technology in particular is reshaping how we interact with machines. However, the developers need to get it right. It's tempting to think Gen Z, the so-called digital natives, will lead this charge. After all, they already talk to voice assistants daily on smartphones, wearables and smart speakers. According to payments.com, nearly a third of Gen Z shop via voice every week compared to just 17.9% of the general population. But hold on. Gen Z isn't alone. Baby boomers, the first generation to grow up with telephones, have embraced voice tech in surprising ways. For them, speaking feels as natural as dialing a number. Voice is for everyone. Voice technology offers a universal benefit, speed. Voice is three times faster than typing and five times faster than texting. The team at TELUS Digital recently surveyed over 1,200 people about their voice tech habits. Here's what they found. Voice usage is becoming universal across all generations. But interestingly, younger users lag slightly behind older ones in daily or weekly usage. And while 67% of Gen Z users use assistants like Siri or Alexa, that's still below the 80% adoption rate of older groups. So what's going on? For Gen Z, voice is just one tool in their digital arsenal. They often use it in task-specific ways. Meanwhile, older users see voice as a natural alternative to typing or navigating apps. Although voice technology has improved exponentially, voice tech still isn't perfect. The survey by Teldos Digital also revealed a loyalty gap. Younger users who have high expectations on technology are more likely to abandon a voice app if it misfires. About 35% of them will switch to alternatives compared to just 26% of older users. What this shows is very interesting. It is in fact older users who are the early adopters in disguise, the opposite of what you would think as a designer. Older users forgive voice tech failures more easily, making them the ideal test audience for new features. As Maihai Antonescu put it, early adopters are more tolerant of failure. They push systems to achieve more. A great example of this is the work undertaken by Dr. Ya Kuma Crystals at Vanderbilt University. She assumed that younger nurses would embrace voice tools faster than older doctors. The opposite was true. Older physicians, already familiar with voice dictation, adopted the tech more quickly. This lesson applies everywhere from healthcare to retail. Voice is set to revolutionize industries by simplifying complex tasks, making experiences faster and more inclusive for everyone. The future of voice isn't about targeting one generation. It's about solving problems, reducing friction and making technology accessible for all. The voice revolution is here. The question is, will your brand keep up? If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about all things audio strategy, voice technology, podcasting and social audio, please like the video, comment below and hit that subscribe button.